And now over here you can see there's versions. I'm going to just name it. I'm going to call it Win11. We're going to click Next. For our storage for our OS, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select Windows 11. So we selected the ISO and now over here for the guest OS, we actually need to change this to Windows. It's going to be Microsoft Windows. And now over here you can see there's a version. So if we drop down, there's some different version numbers based off what version of Windows you're using. If you're using 11, Server 22 or 2025, you're going to select this top one. Now over here it gives us an option to check off the additional drive for Vert IO drivers. We're going to do that. Again, we're going to have that drop down of our lower storage where our ISOs are, and I can select my Vert IO drivers. This is going to make it that during the process, it'll start to use the Vert IO drivers. We'll be able to see our storage, and then we can set up our OS. I'm going to click Next. Under System, we're pretty much going to be all set. For Machine, you could change it over to Q35, and then over here, we're actually going to need to add a TPM. For TPM storage, we could just make it whatever drive you want, and version 2 should be fine. Over here, Windows 11 requirements does say it wants UEFI, so we can come over here and we can change it to UEFI, and then again, we'll just give it some storage. This will be most of the different changes we're going to have to make to this VM, so we're going to click Next. Over here is where we're going to get into our storage. Like I said, it needs at least 65 gigs. I'm going to give it 100 just to make it easier so I don't run out of space right away. I'm going to click Next. For cores, I'm going to give it 4 just because this is my test machine. If you want to make it different, you can give it 2, 4, 6, whatever you want to give it. And then over here is going to be the type of CPU. You're good if it defaults to the x86-64 V2 AES. This CPU is actually one that I run on my Windows 11 VM that I have on my other server works really well. Other than that, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's host. And if you have a chip, like an Intel chip, it should work really well too. But just if you leave it default with this x86 one, you should be good as well. I'm going to click next again. Memory is going to be how much RAM you want to give it. So remember, memory is in increments of 1024. So right now over here, it's going to give me four gigs of memory. I'm good with that. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to click next. I don't need to change anything with the networking. And then we have the summary, and it looks all good, so I'm going to click Finish. That's going to build out our VM, and in a minute we'll be able to start it up and start doing our Windows 11 install.